Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. And today I'll show you how to create a surface. So here's the part we're going to run this demo on. And we have two holes with counter bores on that angled surface. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a toolpath on that surface. We're going to do a flow line. Make sure they cut directions the right way. We'll just do a quarter inch ball end mill. And we'll type in some numbers that make sense. Okay, we'll do five th uh, three thousand step over. We'll do a zigzag. And so just generated a toolpath. And we kind of have a problem here. What what it's doing is it's not going over those holes. So that looks right, zigzagging across the surface, but it's but it's now retracting and then plunging back in, trying to avoid those holes. Now that's just going to give us a bad surface finish, and when we put those holes in, there's going to be a weird burr around it. And it's generally just going to make it look bad, plus the tool will be plunging in the material. There's a lot of things that's, that's going bad. So we're going to go to Surfaces, Flat Boundary. We're going to select the wireframe around that surface. Click the check. Click the check again. Now I'll reselect the geometry. Select that surface. Make sure the cut direction is right. And now it looks like it generated a good tool path. We'll watch it. So instead of jumping up and down all over the place trying to avoid those, we now are just going to go straight across and this surface is going to look much cleaner. So that's just a simple way to uh, to surface over a, a interrupted uh, run on a, run a surface toolpath over an interrupted surface with like holes. You can also do it with all types of stuff. If, if there's pockets, if there's like uh, little cutouts, you can get really creative with it. So if you like that video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you later. Thanks.